now uh, today we will be talking about maintenance plans okay what maintenance plans is why it is required it is a very important feature uh, in uh, field service lightning okay so let me tell you uh, to uh, understand the maintenance plans specifically so you need to understand the asset also in uh, field service lightning means uh, uh, how to create the assets in salesforce to represent customer purchased products how to describe the purpose of the asset hierarchies okay so like that we need to understand uh, what asset uh, is working in field service lightning then we will understand then how to create the maintenance plans and what is the significance of the maintenance plans then we will talk about how to generate work orders in a bulkified manner okay so let me talk about one by one so let let me okay so so today we will be talking about let me write that maintenance plans in fsl okay so for that we need to understand asset create assets then we will talk about uh, uh, how to create maintenance plans then we will talk about generate work orders which is very important means maintenance plan is a, a frequent uh, means requirement from the business so generate work orders okay so these three things we need to know so we can complete that topic okay so before we need to know what are the maintenance plans so basically suppose your organizations you are working for organizations so the customers are uh, very much fond of their uh, systems which actually you have uh, delivered them you have developed and you have you have uh, delivered them successfully so they are very uh, they are loving their new uh, systems okay so however so company uh, knows that its uh, its work is not over okay when a, a system is installed into their um, it's, uh, when a system is you have already installed a system and when you have already um, the, I mean, uh, developed uh, applications and provided to them so and it is installed into uh, their uh, uh, platform so now they are uh, successfully using it but the company or your partners means uh, partner companies they are they are they know that its work is not uh, it's not over yet okay so the systems uh, they, that uh, install system will work based when they are checked regularly by a knowledgeable field service technician, okay? Uh, so to ensure that um, uh, any issues, if uh, those are found early, so the means uh, the, the customer, suppose you are, uh, develop, you develop that application, so your organizations provides one year or monthly preventive maintenance visits after uh, the system installations okay but who is going to create the work orders for those monthly visits okay so that will be a headache thing like uh, then field service lightning introduce maintenance maintenance plans here so basically in a short way or brief or simpler way i can say a maintenance plan lets you define the maintenance schedule for one or more assets and generate multiple work orders for future maintenance visits okay with the click of a button all work orders for your uh, organizations partner organization systems monthly maintenance visits will be created and based on that history based on that records uh, means uh, you can able to track that suppose after three months, four months, future uh, uh, visit will be required uh, for that specific system install. After the system installations, one field service qualified or knowledgeable field service technician need to visit into that, uh, uh, visit that, and they need to provide the service. So this is the maintenance plan's goals. This is the 
usage of a maintenance plans means i can say like it made this maintenance plans field service lightning introduced just because it lets uh, uh, the field service admin to define the maintenance schedule for one or more assets and to generate multiple work orders for future maintenance visit for a particular applications so with the click of a button you can uh, create all the work orders okay uh, in a bulk basis okay so for that so to uh, uh, to uh, deep dive the maintenance plans before that um, before deep diving the maintenance plans let let us go uh, to the customer assets things let me uh, let us go to the customer assets so as you already know in the typical uh, salesforce language typical typical um, sales cloud language you can say an asset uh, basically a salesforce uh, in salesforce which is rep which represents a specific purchased or installed product for example if i'm selling some uh, products i can create that product into salesforce and then create multiple assets representing uh, to that products which i have sold to my customers so each customer's product would be tracked in its own asset record that linked to the actual product okay so uh, where do then you one question should be coming into your mind that where do assets fit into field service well so the products you sell and the service uh, likely require visits from service technicians as i have mentioned by tracking your customers assets in salesforce you can easily view and log each assets purchase like timeline maintenance history and more, and uh, many more things are there okay so you can associate assets assets with various records salesforce record uh, uh, in addition to the products like uh, you already know like work orders work order line items maintenance plan entitlement service contracts contract line items like this okay so first of all um, let me uh, step by step let me create an asset for that so first of all uh, let me go to the account if i'll go to the account If I'll go to, uh, okay, so let me go to the, okay, so let me go to the object manager first. Let me check account. Step by step, we'll check it. Page layouts. I'll go to the account layout. In the account layout, I will go to the related list. In the related list, uh, uh, let me check. Okay, assets are there. I need, do not need to drag the assets again. Okay, so assets is there already. Now, um, following the same uh, steps, I will go to the asset object. Let me go to the asset object. Okay. Um, and uh, if I'll go to the page layouts, okay. So if I'll go to the asset layout, let me go to the related list. Uh, okay, so here maintenance plan should be there. So if I'll go to the related list, so let me check maintenance. Ah, this is the maintenance plans. So I'll just drag maintenance plans and I'll drag. Uh, primary assets okay and uh, I'll, dra I'll drag um, the work orders okay these three uh, objects are enough i can associate as a child child objects for asset i can make this of three objects available for as of now for asset related list so now i'm saving that okay now Another settings I need to do, which is I'll go to the work order. If I'll go to the work order, I'll go to the page layouts. If I'll go to the work order layout, okay. So um, I can see, um, okay, one field is there. Uh, let me show you. 
um, uh, generated yeah generated from maintenance plans okay so this i have already dragged it and make it available in the work order page layout so you need to make this generated work order generated from maintenance plans as i have already told you that one click of a button your bulk work order will be generated for a specific maintenance plan so this checkbox should be there in the work order layout okay i'm saving it okay now i will create an asset so i'll create an asset so uh okay so uh, every asset must be linked to an account or a contact or both okay so let's create i have already created an account dream uh, okay so if i'll go to the account i'll use the dream house co uh, reality yeah my account is there dream house reality okay so I'll go to the first, let me click on uh, account. Okay, so one asset is already there. Um, so suppose I'll create another asset for that. Click on new. Okay, so before clicking on the asset, I would like to tell you like my account is created. Now, next step is okay, step by step, I'd like to write here. So, first point if I'll create assets, okay, so first point uh, uh, account, create account, type of the account will be customer direct as of now. okay now point number two is i need to create a product to represent the type of the uh, uh, type of that specific uh, asset for that account uh, the account who purchased my applications or purchased my product so i need to create a product which will represent my asset okay uh, uh, so there is uh, no need uh, means you do not have to link every asset to a product but when you do it's easy to check the asset related list to see which customers have purchased the product. So that is the that is the significance of it. So if I'll go to here, suppose I, if I'll go to the um, app launcher, and what I'll do, uh, let me search products. If I'll go to the products, click on new. Mm, suppose solar panel system mm, suppose um, 800 okay so now that product has to be active product code you can put there that is not a mandatory field you can put there uh, based on your business requirement or as of now i'm not putting it okay i'm not making any kind of product product family i'm not defining it now i'm saving it okay so my product has been generated okay now i'll go to the uh, account and create an asset okay so uh, so what i'll do i'll go to the accounts for dream house reality i'll create a new asset so asset name suppose solar uh, panel sorry suppose this one and i will just make it eight okay solar panel system this so product which i have just created this one eight zero triple zero account is dream house reality that is fine so now what i will do um, install date install date suppose let me put it today's date okay and uh, quantity uh suppose one okay and uh, status is basically uh, it's installed status is installed okay so i can put uh, rest of the field as of now rest of the fields blank and i can save it okay so when i can save it so my assets created now um uh, uh, so uh, if my assets created so if uh, someone from 
uh, the, that account means Dreamhouse Reality, the account which I have chosen. So if someone someone from Dreamhouse calls, you can quickly see which system they purchased and when. Okay, so everything, every history will be there. That's it. Okay, so if I'll go to the asset, so look at this. It will open it. So it is in an installed situation, and the install date also I have provided that. Okay, so now, uh, uh, okay, so this is uh, basically um, I have created the asset. Now, what I'll do um, after creating that asset, okay, so what I'll do, um, uh, I will create, I'll, I'll uh, okay. So sometimes you will get a delay, uh, you will get a um, requirement like uh, 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 means uh, to replace an asset. So when suppose what happens if a customer's asset needs to be replaced, whatever the reasons, okay. So uh, so uh, you can add the new asset to the customer accounts in Salesforce and link the old and new asset for tracking purposes. You can do that. So that you can do like. Uh, primary assets and related assets like in the page layout i have shown you right primary assets and related assets there so you can do that so from there you can replace an asset not a problem so you can explore that when do you will do the hands-on i am not doing that uh, replace the asset functionality as of now it's not that mandatory so now i have created the asset now i'll go to the maintenance plan things so in the maintenance plan, now what I'll do, I need to set up a maintenance maintenance plan. So if I'll create a maintenance plan for one year of monthly maintenance visits for that solar panel system, a 8,000 asset. So few of the process that needs to be suggested. First is you need to create a work type. So if I'll just go to the point number two, like I will. Okay, so not point number two. I'll just delete this create maintenance plans okay okay so what i'll do in the maintenance plans some of the uh, process you need to do when you are trying to set up the maintenance plan for one year of monthly maintenance okay let me write here one year of sorry Yeah, so first is um, you need to create a work type that standardize your FSL work during the maintenance uh, service appointment. So, okay, so that is create a um, work type. This is required, very, very required. Now, point number two is uh, create a maintenance plan for asset. maintenance plans i am putting it mp for asset now third is okay define the condition for service visits using a maintenance work role okay so define the condition for service visits uh, using a maintenance, sorry, using um, a maintenance work rule. Okay, now point number four is associate the asset, okay, with the maintenance plan. Okay, now point number five is, this is the last point, is generate work orders. Generate work orders. Used to schedule. Okay, each service appointment. That is the five steps steps you need to do to set up a maintenance plan. 
okay so let's uh, do the create a walk type okay so suppose i'll create a walk type uh let me put the name as suppose if i'll go to here let me go to the walk type i have already a walk type but i need to create a fresh walk type for this okay so if i'll go to the walk types so suppose uh, i'll click on new suppose work type name uh, what was my uh, sorry asset name let me just check it once so now panel system 8000 okay so what i'll do uh, if i'll go to the work type okay solar panel system a thousand maintenance okay suppose estimated duration is one okay duration type is hours that's okay and what i will do auto create service appointment i will check it from the work type so that it will automatically create the service appointment you do not need to create the service appointment for each and every work order manually okay so now i'm just click on save okay so when your work type has been created um, what you can do so if you'll go to the related look at the skill requirements are there product requires everything are there you can uh, associate all those into the work types okay so so your new work type has been generated now i'm going to the existing work type okay as of now uh, let it be uh, my work type has been generated so what i will do um, here uh, in the work type i have created the work type so now i will start a maintenance plan so if i go to here um, after creating the work type so what i need to do i will from the app launcher i will just open the maintenance plan okay so if i'll just click on new okay what will be my work type i have just created new work type account will be a uh, dream house reality okay start date uh start date suppose first of the next month so suppose it is december first okay this is the start date so it will be my future maintenance plan will be created so end date suppose one year after the start date so if i just put it 23 suppose uh, december 1st okay so now uh, uh work order generation method one work order uh, per asset that's okay that is by default that is fine okay mm. now let me come to here mm. service appointment generation method as of now i'm not uh, defining okay so frequency frequency is basically mm, it is actually the amount of time between the plans work uh, plans work orders the unit is specified in the frequency type okay so mm, so here uh, in the frequency i can put suppose one frequency type months generation time frame uh, suppose generation time frame is uh, suppose uh, 12, 12 months and the generation time frame type because i have put the start date ended one year gap so that's why i'm putting the generation time frame 12 months in month basis it will come uh, generation time frame type months date of the first work order in the uh, next batch suppose that will be first december okay and maintenance window start days and maintenance window um, end days suppose it is three it is three so recommended to put is three maintenance window start date and end date okay 
So rest of the fleets, uh, fields, I am just putting here mm, to uh, rest of the fields. I'm just uh, making it as of now blank. Okay. So now I'm mm, saving the record. Okay. So my record has been created. So now I need to add maintenance work rule. Like if I'll go to the spreadsheet. So I need to create work type. I need to create maintenance plan for assets. Now I need to define the conditions for the service visits using maintenance work rule. So that is required. So I need to add maintenance work rule to my maintenance plan to create recurring maintenance schedules. I can create calendar based, ingest based and criteria based maintenance work rules. Okay. So do that. Suppose you want to schedule monthly visits for the uh, applications like solar panel 8000, which I have created. So use a calendar based criteria. If necessary, we can define multiple calendar based maintenance work rules. For example, one for monthly maintenance visits and second for a more extensive yard maintenance visit. So we can uh, do that whatever we want. Okay. So yeah, this is my uh, uh, maintenance plan page. Okay, so now I go to the related. Look at this maintenance work rules are there. Okay, so I'll click on new. Okay, so maintenance work rule title monthly, suppose monthly. Okay, so now, um Maintenance work rule type is calendar based as of now. Okay. Uh, so now um, suppose here in the general information, suppose work types. Work type is this which I have created. Okay. Then uh, here maintenance asset. It's not there as of now. Uh, just a second. Maintenance plant I have created that is actually related to it. and. Uh, Sort order suppose one, and then date of the first work order in the next month, mm, same as the start date of the maintenance plan. So I have put that uh, December first. Okay, recurrence pattern. Uh, okay, so recurrence pattern. So if I just scroll down here, control minus. Why it is coming like this? No. Mm, okay. Recurrence period. Mm, recurrence period. Uh, I'm putting it months. Okay. So if I'm putting on months, to look at this. It's coming recurring on date and day. Okay. So they can't dating on date one. So I have choosing it. Okay. Frequency is one. Now I'm uh, leaving other fields blank here. Uh, recurrence said never. That's fine. It's as of now. This is fine. Okay, so now what I'll do. Let me save it. So my maintenance work rule has been generated. Okay, so. Um, okay, so uh, if I'm just creating this one. Okay, so um, I'll tell you one thing. You can create the criteria based maintenance work rule also. Okay. So uh, that criteria based work rule when you have created for that maintenance work rule, it will give you the criteria based on the criteria you can uh, part, you can put that uh, what kind of product will be uh, means, uh, it will be basically doing the criteria based uh, for your maintenance work rule type means uh, if you can uh, select or enter your work type the maintenance plan sort order and date of the first work order. So if you will use that criteria based uh, so it will just choose that uh, suppose you have multiple products associated with you can choose what kind of product criteria you are giving it is just filtering out all those products okay now what i'll do i'll do uh, so my uh, maintenance uh, work tool has been created so now i need to associate maintenance asset okay okay so let me write the third point here so generate work orders so i have done that so here after that associate the asset with mp so point number five i'll put it associate maintenance asset okay 